Hello, everyone. Thanks for taking the time today to join us for Perceive 2020. And this has been a great day, lots of interesting talks. And I want to thank everybody for attending and all of our speakers for presenting today. We had a great collection of uh, speakers from all different walks of life around the AI ecosystem, executives from public sector organizations, uh, commercial entities, investors in artificial intelligence companies, and research scientists at cutting edge AI institutes. And so I want to take uh, a, a stab at recapping some of the things I saw and the Clarify team saw throughout the day from all the talks. And by no means is this a recap of all the talks. We encourage you to look through all the talks after the event. They will be uh, made public and you'll get an email with all the links to those uh, videos. So you can browse through them, uh, I believe, for the next 30 days after the event ends. So key takeaways, we tried to summarize uh, what we were seeing into three buckets, um, and each of these have their own takeaways. So one of the buckets was the AI lifecycle itself. And one of the themes we, we heard throughout multiple talks was the ability to learn more with less data. This came up in uh, numerous scenarios, whether it be transfer learning, where you can quickly learn something new, having humans in the loop where AI is automating a lot of it and humans are uh, making the accuracy level even more accurate than the AI alone can do. We have techniques for distilling the knowledge from one AI model down to uh, a smaller model or a different model to extract more knowledge from the original and synthetic data creation so that you're not relying just on data that you're collecting organically, but data that you're creating synthetically, which can scale up the data creation and collection effort drastically. So that's one big theme uh, we're seeing, learning more with less. The next theme we saw in multiple talks was automation. And this is happening everywhere in the AI lifecycle. We see it for architecture search with things like AutoML. We see automatic annotation and active learning. We see humans being assisted with artificial intelligence in lots of different ways to really augment their intelligence. And this is all providing a huge win in uh, reduction of cost, reduction of time, while actually making the artificial intelligence better and providing more value to end users. And then the last theme around the AI lifecycle is fairness and bias. We saw this again in multiple different uh, conversations throughout the day. And fairness and bias is a difficult problem. Uh, in terms of fairness, it's really, really hard. There's no kind of agreed upon standard even around this. Uh, models should reflect the data, but uh, and data should reflect reality, but reality isn't even fair itself. So, uh, and even trying to define it, there's multiple different meanings. And even if you have good data and it's equally distributed and you have good intentions in the team that's building the AI, that's not even enough to ensure things are fair and unbiased. But there are open source tools that are emerging to help with this, and we're excited to see the progress of those over time. The next kind of broad uh, bucket of conversation today was around technology hardware and edge processing in general. And so with edge, we're seeing an increased focus on performance. The hardware is getting faster, but also the models are getting more efficient. They're compressing knowledge that happens to, to be accurate in very large models, making that possible in very small models. So the computational requirements are shrinking while the hardware is actually getting more capable. So that's a win-win because you can actually do more at the edge and do it much more quickly. And there's this theme of really bringing the data to the models rather than bringing the models to where the data is and originates. Uh, and there's a common thing in, in uh, kind of the big data uh, technologies. We're starting to see that now with artificial intelligence. In terms of the, the tactical edge hardware, we're seeing that it's pushing the limits of storage and data collection. And we're seeing the need for new types of servers, data storage out near the edge, because bandwidth is becoming the most expensive part to improve upon. Uh, it's not really impossible. Uh, it's not really um, a scalable mechanism to rely on the cloud for all these different use cases. So the more we can push the edge, the more benefits we're going to get out there leveraging AI. And then the last kind of theme we saw today is in terms of camera technology. Uh, cameras are really the eyes to your AI solution. That was a quote from one of the talks I really liked. And uh, some of the numbers were really interesting. One and a half pixels to detect the presence of an object, six pixels to recognize objects, and 12 to identify a specific class of object. And this trend of AI being pushed to the edge, being built into cameras and leveraging all the camera technology is really helping drive more sales of cameras. So there's a 
big win for the camera makers out there. And it's really driving new benefits because you're no longer limited by human operators when you involve AI to process all this data that's created from the cameras. And then the last theme throughout the day was how we're using AI to solve problems. And I really liked uh, a talk uh, talking directly about this and how the, it's important to love the problem, not the solution. Um, AI is not a hammer that's going to solve every problem. You really need to work with your customers, understand truly what the problem is, and then work back from that to pick the right technology, which will likely involve AI and different components of it. Um, but it's really important to start from the problem and not from the solution. And uh, to measure this, this customer experience as you're starting to solve their problems, the metric of heart uh, came up, happiness, engagement, adoption, retention, and task completion. I really liked that, so I wanted to share it in our takeaways. The second uh, theme was around, uh, or a second example of a, a big problem being solved is around sentiment analysis and storytelling. And one of the teams uh, from the speakers has built a tool called Story DNA to really understand massive amounts of text. We're talking billions of uploads, uh, millions of writers. And the only way that they can understand this text is by having a way to apply artificial intelligence to that. There's no more uh, leveraging trends and data or just intuition on what are the key topics that customers care about. You need to apply AI to this problem. And so that was really exciting to see. They also brought up uh, bias in thinking about uh, their competition where they, uh, it's actually the largest writing competition in the world. And bias became a really important part in machine learning helped improve the fairness of the competition itself. Uh, and then finally, we heard about retail applications. This is another vertical, very important uh, AI application. And there's very clear ROI from those AI applications, especially at the edge, helping reduce shrinkage and theft into stores and even improving customer loyalty uh, to improve the, the fulfillment of orders. And we're seeing this uh, is becoming possible because there's big advances of hardware and networking. So the cloud and the edge become really one in this hybrid cloud infrastructure. So this is really cool and exciting um, to, to see come to the forefront. So I want to thank you all again for joining us today. Those are just a few of the thoughts I wanted to share given all the talks, but I encourage you to check them out as they will be available on demand within the next 24 hours. And again, uh, feel free to chat about the conference and um, share your thoughts and opinions on social media, on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, LinkedIn at the hashtag Receive2020. Again, thanks to all the attendees and speakers for making this all possible and hope to see you again soon. Take care.